Hi there, this is Matt Heffernan. Welcome back to my channel. This is unfortunately a little bit of a sad episode of uh, Slithy Vlogs, and uh, it's because, of course, as you can see by the title screen here, we are saying goodbye to our dear friend Adam, the uh, text editor. And if you've been watching my channel uh, since I started posting a lot of this retro development content, you've known that I've used Adam almost exclusively for all of my code walkthroughs. So let's get into a little bit of the background on what Adam is and, and what's happened to it. So first off, of course, Adam is, uh, by its uh, you know, marketing, as it were, is a hackable text editor for the 21st century. And it's been created by our friends at GitHub. And uh, you know they don't just provide repos uh, for having these uh, remote Git instances that you can uh, collaborate with other open source uh, software developers uh, they actually create some of their own tools and Atom is really the the most significant one that they developed besides of course you know their their actual website for GitHub and back in 2014 in February they did the first release of Atom and uh, they released it with an MIT license because you know being an open source uh, promoting uh, entity an enabling entity they wanted to make sure they had a nice and permissive license like the MIT one for getting Adam out there getting it adopted and getting the community to uh, come help uh, support its development well in order to do that, they needed a framework, and uh, so they created one, and it effectively Atom became the first Electron application. Of course, Electron was originally called Atom Shell after Atom, because it's the first one. So uh, what Atom Shell, uh, and now we know as Electron did, was uh, create this multi-platform application development for uh, actual thick client applications that can run on multiple different platforms it runs equally as well on uh, windows linux or mac os uh, and even others and it uses a, a web style uh, development environment it's basically a, an application is within an embedded browser so you use html css and javascript in order to create your applications and so that's what Atom is. It's basically a web application that doesn't have to sit on the web. It can just be run locally at your machine. And of, of course, uh, many other applications have been developed using Electron. And probably notably, and you might see where I'm going with this, Visual Studio Code, which has <laughs> its uh, tagline is uh, Code Editing Redefined. Uh, in a matter of speaking, it is redefined. Uh, of course, it was developed by Microsoft. As you could tell from its branding, it's part of the whole Visual Studio lineup. And of course, Microsoft has been creating different versions of Visual Studio for many, many years. Uh, it, it all came out of that original Visual C and Visual C++ and Visual Basic applications, sort of uh, bringing all of those together. Uh, at one point, they decided to call it Visual Studio, and it has evolved over time. It is Microsoft's primary development. It's their IDE for all of these different languages and frameworks that they support and eventually they decide well we want to have one that is uh, open source so they uh, created visual studio code uh, starting from scratch more or less by uh, a, in april 2015 it was a little more than a year after Adam, and like Adam, they used MIT license because at this point they were uh, heavily using GitHub themselves and trying to, to get more of their software out there as open source. But with a caveat, the Visual Studio Code builds that you would download, they were freeware, you could uh, use them without having to pay Microsoft anything, but they are proprietary builds uh, that does contain some stuff in there that is not open source and it is a proprietary software although you don't have to pay for it but it's not what one would call free software by the normal uh, understanding of what free and open source software means it's open source freeware but that's a different thing uh, it is not free and open source like adam is and but also like adam 
it uses Electron as its basis. And like Atom, it has plugins that have been developed for it using these uh, standard web languages. So you're generally coding them in JavaScript and, of course, creating GUIs for those plugins using HTML and CSS. So it is... Uh, very, very similar. So yes, it's redefined. It's basically, it's Atom redefined by Microsoft. And uh, if you know a bit more about how the software industry is going these days, you would also know that, of course, Microsoft has bought GitHub. It's been a while now. In fact, back in October of 2018, they finally closed the purchase after having announced it a few months earlier. And uh, well, you know, since then, uh, VS Code and many other repos, they've already had it there and they've continued to develop them on GitHub. So Microsoft has had a very heavy uh, presence there on GitHub, especially since that purchase. And they can uh, put forward a, a lot of their products on that. And meanwhile, of course, uh, GitHub just kept on developing Atom side by side, even though it was a subsidiary of Microsoft at that point, you had two different teams working on two different electron based IDEs. Well, it doesn't take a uh, MBA from Harvard, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, esteemed uh, alma mater of the uh, founders of Microsoft, or at least, uh, you know, Mr. Gates. It doesn't take somebody with a lot of knowledge of business to understand that this is not a sustainable situation. And as one would expect, within that first year, Adam development basically stopped. As you can see in about mid-2019, uh, which is uh, sh around the time, uh, shortly after the time, it is like in early 2019 when I first started using Atom. And uh, pretty shortly after that, I don't think it's my fault necessarily, <laughs> or the, the content that I started putting out uh, shortly after this significant drop-off in development, when I started you know, showing these uh, videos, uh, having code that is uh, being displayed in Atom, and of course me editing those, that code in Atom, it is already by that point, Atom was more or less a, a dead project. It was uh, still being maintained by uh, GitHub, but not by the original creators, the guys that did all of that uh, big development uh, up through uh, the beginning of 2016. Those uh, first few versions, they were, you know, really hitting it hard like they do usually for a, a new software thing. Uh, but then you had, you know, the normal feature development through the next couple years, but then it's just been straight up, you know, taking in a few pull requests here and there, and ma mainly doing security patching. And that's it, not really adding any new features. And uh, now, of course, uh, if you've been uh, paying even more attention to the way things go here, uh, on uh, GitHub's uh, internal blog, they have uh, released an article that they call Sunsetting Atom. And uh, if you go over to GitHub and you check out their blog, you'll get the information there about what this particularly means. Now, of course, Atom is, like I said before, it is a free and open source software project. However, it is hosted, of course, on GitHub. And Microsoft controls uh, which of their subsidiaries keep which repos active on uh, GitHub. And they are basically saying that, all right, well, we own the account for Atom. Uh, as, since we bought GitHub, and now we can just say that that repo, while not necessarily going away, is becoming archived, which means that you're, you're not going to uh, find it anymore. There could still be forks of that old archive out there, but they are going to stop all development. They're going to they're going to stop accepting any pull requests, and really, most importantly, they're going to stop doing any sort of security patching to it. And uh, with a uh, even though it's a free and open source and uh, community developed, and especially when it comes to all the plugins, uh, a very large community behind Atom, with out the uh, corporate backing of Microsoft and with them effectively shutting down that repo, uh, the ability to do that sort of patching, is, it's just really not feasible. 
So now while, of course, the Electron um, framework uh, is continuing to receive its patching because Microsoft is still very much actively supporting that. But Atom itself is like, no, they, they don't really uh, need to do that anymore. And so here we are. <laughs> this, is, this is how it's ended up. And I don't think anybody's surprised with what's happened. But uh, meanwhile, I just wanted to send Adam off. I know it's not necessarily going away. You could still run it at your own peril by the end of uh, this calendar year. Uh, but it's still something that is basically not going to be feasible to use much uh, going forward. Even if you wanted to hang out with uh, some of the folks that forked it and try to support them, it, it's really not going to be giving you what you need. And it, it's going to be probably better for you to pick something else. And that's what I'll be doing uh, at some point this year is figuring out what I'm going to do, whether I go to VS Code or uh, pick out something else. I'm probably not going to go to Emacs or something like that, uh, which would one could say was a hackable uh, <laughs> text editor for the 20th century. And I, I don't think I need to go back to that. I, I don't need to you know, dust off my old Lisp book. But anyway... I wanted to take this time to acknowledge that and just go through this uh, little montage here of how Adam has been featured on my channel over the past few years. And so I'll uh, just take one more live look now at Adam. Here is a, a program you might be familiar with if you've watched my channel. This is, of course, the Patreon screen that is written in BASIC. It has all of the nice uh, syntax highlighting, which Adam gives you, because it can automatically detect, hey, you're running Commodore BASIC. And here's something that, oh, this is what Commodore BASIC should look like, of course. Commander X16 Basic is a slightly different modified version of Commander Basic 2.0, but you can get a lot of the way there. So let's just go ahead and run it because really we got to thank these folks. Of course, we do thank GitHub for everything they've done in developing Atom at this point. But for now, we're saying goodbye and uh, thank you now to the patrons of my channel. Uh, thanks for uh, watching, thanks for supporting, and uh, thanks for really being a part of uh, what we do here on this channel. And uh, if you want to become one of these Patreon uh, supporters and see all of the videos on my channel before they go live to the public, you can just uh, check out that link. It's right in the description. And uh, but otherwise it is totally free to just subscribe on YouTube and get the videos when they are uh, first made public immediately, especially when you click that bell and you'll get those notifications. And uh, please like and, and comment. And if you are an a Adam user, please uh, maybe share in the comments some of your personal experiences with Adam. Why did you first start using it? And what are you planning on going to now that Adam is being sunsetted? Are you going to go to a fork of Adam? Are you going to VS Code? Are you going to just do everything in VI again? Let me know what you have planned. All right. Anyway, thanks. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.